Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom screensaver on your macOS device. This will allow you to personalize what your computer looks like when it's on a screensaver or not in use and will really allow you to create some really aesthetically pleasing things for your room. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so to get into the screensaver panel, you'll go to System Preferences, then you'll go to Desktop and Screensaver, and then you've got all your different screensaver options, and you'll need to make sure that you're in the screensaver section up here. Now, there's a lot of different options here, and it can be a little bit overwhelming at first, but I'll try to go through as many of them as I can. So, let's start at the top. So, we can see that um, you can select for the screen save to show after a certain amount of minutes. So you might be able to choose from one minute or up to an hour. And you'll see that uh, by default it was on 20 minutes. Now on some of the numbers you'll see that it actually has a little exclamation mark here. That's indicating that it might be on the same screen for too long and you might want to... Um, you might want to consider making this a bit shorter so that it doesn't stay on the one screen for too long. And if you don't want it to show a screensaver at all, you can just untick that option altogether. Now, there's a lot of different options for the screensavers you can choose. Now, a lot of these first ones are actually um, able to show your own files of what you want to show on your screensaver. So, for example, you might want to click on this photo mobile here and you can change the source to then choose a folder and that's where you can then choose any photos that you might want to add into these photo screensavers so that you can have like a nice slideshow of some of your favorite memories. Or you can just also have it as colors and if we do a quick demo of what that looks like, I actually have made a video about how to set up hot corners on your macOS device which will allow you to take your mouse up to any corner and it will start an action. I definitely re recommend checking that out. I'll leave that linked up in the cards because it'll make you uh, able to really easily just go up into your corner and start your screensaver like I did just then. That's one of my um, favorite things to do in Mac OS. But if you don't have that set up, you can also just hover over it and click the preview button. And you can see that this looks quite nice. And at the moment, it's just doing solid colors. But you could replace that with photos or other things that you want to put in there. And you can also allow it to shuffle slide order or not. Now, you can actually see that the hot corners button is down here. And that's where you can set that up. But I definitely recommend checking out my video for an additional um, more in-depth look at this. Now, you can also allow it to show with a clock, um, which means when you preview it, it'll actually have a little clock up there, as you can see. Um, and you can also choose random screensaver. And if we go into the screensaver, it will choose a random one each time. So that's one screensaver. If I go up to another one, you can see it's a completely different screensaver. If I go up one more time, it will be a different one again. So you can use that if you would like. Now... If we have a look at some other options here, we've got um, some of the default Mac OS ones. So we've got Monterey, which basically goes through um, the new Monterey wallpaper and just keeps cycling through slowly um, the area of it. It looks quite cool. It looks like you're um, going through the area. You can also do the Hello thing, which was a new thing in Mac OS... Might have been a version of macOS Big Sur last year, or it might have been uh, macOS Monterey. I can't exactly remember. But uh, this one will go through the Hello screen, and it'll actually, um, if you click in the options, you can allow it to go through in all different languages, which is quite nice. And you can also click it to match system appearance. And the theme, you've got a few different themes here um, that you can choose from if you would like. And then if we just preview it, you'll see that it will start writing out hello um, quite slowly and it will go through in all different languages if you've set it to do that. And you can just wiggle the mouse at any time to get out of the screensaver. 
Now, if we have a look at Drift, this is the one I personally use all the time. And if we click screensaver options here, you can change the color to be whatever you want. So you can set it to work with your desktop colors, or you can choose a custom one like blue hues maybe. And if we preview that, you'll see that that is a nice blue sort of turquoisey uh, color scheme that's using there. And I quite like that. Now you can also choose flurry, which is a bit more traditional. Um, once again, you can change how many streams there are. You can change the thickness and you can also change the speed. So I'm actually going to dial some of these up and you'll see that it does make quite a difference when you're doing it, um, which I quite like and it looks quite cool. Uh, and you can also choose the color scheme. So you could go that you want it all green, for example, and it will do it all green for you. Now, another one is arabesque. Um, this one you actually can't change any options about. It's just a pretty stock standard one. If we preview it, that's sort of what it looks like. It'll choose the colors automatically and it will choose also the speed. It'll just vary um, between which, you know, might be um, what you quite like or you might like something different. Now there's also Shell, which is another one that you can't change any screensaver options about, um, which is a bit of a shame, but it just goes through uh, automatically what uh, different colors and it just filters through a bit of a cycle, which um, can also look quite nice depending on your circumstances. And a couple of final ones, there's one where you can write a message. So if we click screensaver options here, I can actually write a particular message uh, for it to show on this screensaver. So let's say I wanted to write um, maybe a name of this computer. So we could write um, Studio Mac, for example, uh, if it's working in a studio. And if we preview that, it'll actually have the text up there and it will slowly filter through. Uh, it'll just move it around uh, every so often on your screen. So like you can see just there, it looks kind of nice um, if you go through that. Now, the final couple of ones, you've got album artwork. Uh, if you've got music uh, in your music, Apple Music Library, and if you wanted to, um, I haven't used music on this user before, but if you wanted to show um, some of your music, um, album artwork, uh, that's an option. And you can also choose word of the day if you would like. And if you go under options, you can choose a particular dictionary. By default, it's on automatic though. If we click OK, we can see what the word of the day is. Um, we'll just give it a moment to load here. Uh, and you can see um, it's actually uh, showing that the word of the day today is uh, rejoin, which is quite interesting. And it also gives a little definition there uh, and whether it's a verb, a noun, or an adjective, etc. So yeah, there's all your different options for screensavers. I'm personally going to leave it on Drift. That's my personal favorite. Um, but you've got so many different options here and it can really be used to brighten up your workspace and give a nice look on your desk especially if it's in like a reception area, it could look quite nice for your customers. So hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success with creating your own customized screensaver for Mac OS. And I hope you really enjoy having a go with all the different options um, that there are available and making something that you really like the look of. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.